Good day. Okay, so let's continue the discussion on the psychosocial support pack for teachers. On this video, we shall discuss how you can prepare the emotional and physical space in conducting psychosocial support. Creating a routine where you are checking in with your learners about how they feel and how they are doing helps to build a culture of safety in the classroom. You may find the following useful to prepare any of the following. Emotions chart. Create a poster that you can point to, or create a section on your blackboard where you can draw the emoticons. Ask learners to put their name under their most dominant feeling at any particular time. To take the activity further, ask each one to mimic each feeling, or to show the feeling they're feeling in the moment by making that specific facial reaction at the same time. You can count, one, two, three, then have each one show their emotion through their facial expression. You may or may not decide to do this depending on whether it aligns with the specific activity. You may want to use this as a way to check on how everyone is doing any time during the day. Then, you may also try, let it all out center, for all ages. This could be a big poster, section of your bulletin board or blackboard where learners can scribble their feelings. This could also be a designated area in the room where you have a mat, pillow, some books, stress knots, old cloth knotted, scrap paper, a box with crayons or coloring material. To manage the propriety of their language and images, refer to the guidelines chart. Next, we have guidelines chart. Create a poster where you have special guidelines for the play and art-based activities you will do with your learners. Here is a sample. Finally, the most important preparation to make for the session is yourself. Before every session, it's important to pay attention to how you are feeling to ensure your sense of calm, centeredness and compassion can help create an accepting environment for your learners. Many times we naturally carry some feelings from work or home into our classrooms. So as not to project your feelings to your learners which will affect the safety in the classroom, you may want to do the following. Check in with yourself to do a brief stress test measuring your stress level from 0 to 10. If your stress level is above 5, then you may want to take some deep breaths and center yourself, pay attention to tension in your body, and breathe into the tension to relax your muscles, especially your facial muscles. Notice if you are thinking thoughts that will distract you from being the compassionate presence your learners need, and set them aside in an imaginary shelf or box that you can come back to later. Be conscious of your voice modulation so as to offer both positive energy and love to your learners. Here's also a guide to learning the emotional language of your learners.